Hi, I'm Peggy Tucker and I'm a master sugar artist and I'm here today with Cake Play to show you how easy it is to use their new silicone sheets that have leaves and butterflies on them and they're happy to be carrying them for you now on their webpage. But instead of thinking of just leaves, I want to show you how you can turn this simple long one into bows. So I have part of it made here. So we're going to do a simple pour. And it's really nice and easy. It's slow. We don't want to overfill. It doesn't really take a lot. Set it aside. And if you've all followed me over the years, you know my favorite tool is the toothpick. It works wonders for pretty much everything. So we're just going to move the sugar around and let it fall into all of its little crevices. And then as it dries, we're going to be able to remove it partway and bend it over our finger to form it into the loop. Now one side of this is going to have the, the veining from the leaves on it and the other side will be smoothed. I'm making this bow today with the veining side upwards. I actually happen to like it really well. So these now I'm just going to let rest for a few minutes and as it sets up we'll be able to play with it. So at this point you know that it's cool enough when the edges start to come away from the molds. So you can pick it up, bend it slightly, be nice to it. You don't want to bend it too fast or it will crack. You can place your finger into the center and get it molded to the way you want it to be. Set it down. Do the same one. And if you can move fast enough, you can do two at a time. If not, then just work with one until you get used to it. Now this one I'm going to use for a center bow. So I'm going to actually pop the edges of those off. And I'm going to come back and do the same thing to this one, along with the prayer that the whole thing doesn't crack. There we go. Now, quickly I'm going to show you how to assemble the bow. Bring it in. I started my bow like you would any other bow. If you were using gum paste or fondant, it's the same process using the sugar. You simply are going to attach two of them together by dipping it and sticking it together. And then start your seven or your nine, depending on the size of the bow that you want. Come around to your second layer doing the same process, dip and stick. I'm going to start mine now. Dip, and I'm going to come right into the center here and place that one there. Do the same process, dip and stick. And this one here might be the finishing one. Dip and stick. There's our bow. Now, you see the curly cues off of it? I'm now going to show you how easy it is to make those to have a finished bow. So, now to make our loops, our little spirals that are going to come off of our bow, I've had my heated sugar. It's cooled a little bit. I'm going to pour it out, and I'm just going to begin to whip air into it. And the more air you whip into it, the cooler it's going to become. But you're going to also watch it start to change color. It's going to go from that beautiful red to kind of a um, pearlized red. And it's going to take on a taffy consistency. Let's see. Perfect. I'm going to slide that off. And I'm going to pick it up with my hands. And I'm going to start moving it. And I'm just still adding air into it. Like I said, it's like pulling taffy. Then I'm going to take what used to be my paintbrush, which is now my trusty little magic wand. I'm going to place it around my wand, holding it. I'm going to pull with my one hand and start moving the wand. The left hand stays straight. The right hand pulls. And off it comes. There we go. The other thing you can do is pull and make beautiful loops. Break it off, move it out. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so now that you have your curly cues, it's just a matter of uh, pick them up and assemble them right into your bow, wherever you might want them to go. 
and bring it up and over to here. Quick and easy. So there you have our finished bow. And so you can see by adding the curly cues to it that it gives it a lot of pop. I also want to turn it over so you can see the bottom of the bow, that it's not really bulky underneath there. It's nice and flat, and that's just where we joined all of our pieces together. Now to attach it to a fondant cake or a buttercream cake, you just simply place it on the top. If it's buttercream, you want to have a small little piece of cake board underneath it to keep it from actually ab absorbing the moisture from the buttercream. If it's fondant, just put a little bit of sugar on it and stick it right on down.